Hi everybody, this is Steve from Conductive Labs and we are now looking at the MRCC Edit Labels um, screen and this is a closely related to the Assign Label screen so if you haven't watched the Assign Label screen yet you should watch that after this or before this kind of doesn't matter but they're very closely related um, it's kind of a two-step process so um, how do we edit labels? I can go into the Edit Label screen under Tools and go over to the arrows and scroll through and I see that there's labels in there, and some of them say delete and some don't. The ones that don't say delete are the ones that are um, hard-coded in there, and the ones that say delete are the ones that were added to the list. So how do we add? Let's go ahead and give it a try. So let's print this back up to none. Okay, whoops, I'll hold the blue button and go fast, okay. So if I bring a regular computer keyboard, it's called a QWERTY keyboard, Q-W-E-R-T-Y, um, and I plug it into the MRCC like this. Now um, I should be able to type directly into the, um, the window there. So let's see. No, made me a liar because I have to do that. Okay, so I'm going to call this, um, let's say I've, uh, let's say we're making a synthesizer and I'm going to uh, plug and I want to, you know, have a label for it. I'm going to call it Steve, oops, so you got to go backspace, 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 Steve Synth. Okay, so now I added Steve Synth, and I come down here to save, and I hit the black button, and now Steve's Synth is in, in the database, and now let's go back up here, and you have to backspace. It's not like a computer. <laughs> I had to write all the code to do this little edit window, and so it's not like as nice as a, a like a, a word processor, but you could certainly type things in. I'm gonna call this one uh, AAA controller, because that'll be on the top of the list. Now notice the R wouldn't come in because it truncates to only the size of the screen. So let's just call it AAA control. Come down and hit save. And then I'm gonna go back up and edit that and call it AAA keyboard. Okay. And let's save that. Okay, so now those are in the list. And if I come back to here and I scroll all the way to the top, you'll see AA control, AA keyboard, and then it goes to ambient. And those weren't there before. And notice it says delete. And then Steve's, let's, I'll use the blue button to jump down quite a bit. And it's alphabetical. So if we go, yep, there it is, Steve Synth. So you can add your own um, labels, which then you can use uh, in the assign window to assign to any port, import or outport. Um, so I'll talk about the quick process here as I did in the other video, so it's a little bit of a repeat. And that is, when I designed this, I was thinking that you don't want to keep uh, having to disconnect your keyboard from your computer and bring it over to this thing all the time. So it would be really nice to have a two-step process. And the first step is editing your labels. And it's more like editing your, able, your label list, right? So what you could do is when you first get your MRCC, uh, plug it in, bring it into your studio or wherever. You can even do it in your computer room. Plug in your QWERTY keyboard and type in the labels of all the devices you have in your studio and even the ones you may want to buy in the future. Um, it's not a one-time process. You can do it whenever you want, but it's a process in which all the typing happens at one time. Then when you... Uh, remove your keyboard and go into, let's just go ahead and do it real quick, go into the assign window. Um, I can, let's say, assign port one and scroll down here, PQRS to Steve Synth, and then assign it. I can, in fact, assign any labels at any time and, and remove them, but they stay in that database list. So all you have to do is type them to put them in the list but you're not assigning them at the same time. You're just putting them in a little database. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't seen the assign labels, which you kind of probably, you kind of just did, but you should go watch that one too. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.